I wonder if there are any Deadpool cat videos. <laughs> oh, Angry Joe? Angry Joe reviews Deadpool? Oh shit! Oh shit, Angry Joe reviews my game! I gotta get some popcorn! Oh shit! Angry Joe's gonna review my game. Oh shit, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, popcorn, oh yeah. <laughs> Angry Joe, come on, tell us whether it's good or not. Guys, Angry Joe, Angry Joe is a. Now here's a game I didn't really expect. Deadpool is one of my favorite Marvel comic book characters. Certainly he is for a lot of people. He's a fan favorite because obviously his comedy, his self-awareness, and his ability to break the fourth wall. What? Oh, I hate the metric system. How much in American? Let's see. You carry the seven... Uh... Dude, fuck math. Just use all of it. <laughs> oh, yeah! That was awesome! At the same time, is a total badass. He's liking it. Of course he likes it. Look at these muscles. One of the most skilled assassins. <laughs> He's really good with ballistics. <laughs> Combine that with his healing powers of Wolverine and damn near immortality because of his relationship with death. <laughs> And you have one sweet ass mercenary. Sometimes I like him even more than Wolverine. I know. Yes, you know it's true. Damn right. I didn't sign up for this. Well, the game starts out with Deadpool hanging out in his apartment, watching TV, playing with his stuff. Don't make me do this, please. Oh, really? If this game had a shame meter, it'd be full right now. <clears throat> We're not gonna put our penis in that, are we? Last time you bit her on the ear and she farted and flew out the window. As you listen to your voicemails, you discover Deadpool had pitched a game to High Moon Studios and they had turned it down. Anyway, looked over your proposal. Not gonna pretend I understand any of it, but the answer is no. We're gonna pass on your big game idea. What? He said no? That was our chance to be in our own video game! But soon after that, Peter Penna calls back CEO of High Moon Studios after Deadpool threatens to blow up the rest of the studio. <laughs> Remember when I, I called you earlier and told you no? <laughs> Such a joker, because I meant yes, of course! So a script is sent to his house and our self-absorbed hero's adventure begins. Hmm, not sure the player understands our thinking yet. Hey, player, just go with it. We're about to change your fucking life. Bring the noise! Now, High Moon has a pretty good track record built from doing the Transformers game some justice. So, I was slightly encouraged that they were taking on the project. Now, first things first. Deadpool is dead on! Woohoo! He is hilarious. The voice work is outstanding. Deadpool leans on its comedy and its lovable character for all its goodwill, and it works on that level. Nathan does a great job as the merc with the mouth, and there is plenty of fourth wall breaking moments. There are so many jokes. Some argue maybe a little bit too many. Hunger's a Join the show, freak. At times, those in-game references to High Moon Studios just serve to focus some of my anger and annoyance at them later on for the game's failings, but I could appreciate the fact they were having a blast, it's clear. I mean, in what other game do you get the bitch slap the shit out of Wolverine? Wake up! Up and at Find me! That's for all the clown jokes! That's for never calling just to say hi! That's because I get aroused when I slap people! <laughs> That's for all the furry midgets in the world. That's 
because I feel like it. What? Whoa! You! Wait! Up! Wake up! That's because the player keeps mashing the button! Hmm, let's see. Angry Joe says that I'm awesome. Check! Angry Joe says I'm better than Wolverine. Check! My work here is done! Hell yes! This game is fucking hilarious! It's fucking cool! It's awesome! Yes, they went there, they did that! Now it's clear to me the folks at High Moon love and respect- Still the talking! So boring! Now listen to me here! It's real important that you stay for this particular part of the review! Blah 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 blah! Boring! It's clear that the reviewers love me! Time now for some freaking tacos! Mmm, I can just taste them in my mouth! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, and some chimichangas. <laughs> Let's go. That's attention to detail. However, having all that doesn't always equal a good game. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was okay. Unfortunately, the execution here was less than stellar. It ends up being an average game with some funny humor that can unfortunately wear down a bit on you from its frequency and the lack of challenge throughout. Peter, my man, you see all that? Haha, <laughs> buttload of awesomeness. Deadpool, you idiot! Do you know how much money all those explosions and tacky graphics just cost me? You can't just change whatever you want whenever you want! Yeah, that's want. great, Peter. Talk to my dick. But seriously though, it can't be that bad, right? Stop your yapping, Joe, and tell us if it's good. Well, I think it's good. What? Fuck no, it's not. Tell him. It's lazy. It's annoying, too. But awesome, guys. Don't listen to him, it's lame. Shut up! No, you! God, I'm trying to do a fucking review. Shut the hell up! As you can tell, I'm conflicted on the game. Fuck you, Joe, they discounted the price on PC. Yeah, but only $10 off the console? What the fuck? So, technically, they know it's sort of a budget title. Oh, so we're now not contending $20 off is an excuse for a six hour game? What if it's a very funny game that's extremely true to the Deadpool character and well voice acted? How about if it comes with shallow, repetitive combat for most of the game? <laughs> yeah, and it recycles the same five enemies over and over. Yeah, listen to the redneck side of Joe. This game sucks! Shut the fuck up, all of you! I'm gonna silence you for good. Ow, damn it! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, god damn it! Ah, uh, why is it so dark here? Joe? The hell did Joe go? I don't even see him on the screen anymore. The hell? Where the fuck did he go? Wait, I get it. He's saying my game is so good, he doesn't even have to be on the screen to review it anymore. Okay, now that right there is the most genius thing ever. Joe is literally the best reviewer ever! <laughs> I gotta go tell him. Oh, there you are. Hey, Joe, I just wanted to say, keep up the good work. Here, have a taco. Thank you for telling everybody to buy my game. Oh, yeah. Roll credits. We're done here. Oh man, sorry about that. How what was I saying? You were taking a shit on the game. All right, thanks. The graphics aren't that great. The game has camera issues, especially in buildings with tighter spaces, and the whole game is way too fucking easy. The level designs like the sewers and Genosha, they're not particularly interesting or inspired aside from a few set pieces like where you activate a sentinel hands to blow shit up to progress in the level.
Or were you fly wildly out of control in the shoe of a sentinel? This has got to be the dumbest idea you've ever had. The risk is considerable. This is my- Great Cable, thanks awesome, by TV and Travis! Damn it, Wade! <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like boots. So I put my boots in this boot so I can stop you while I stop you. Since it's a hack and slasher, obviously you're gonna be spending most of your time in combat. So here you have light and heavy attacks with uh, dodges, and there's a counter button as there is in Batman. Only here you get the added bonus of Deadpool's gunplay with pistols, shotguns, submachine guns, and laser guns. Keeping on the offensive builds a momentum meter, which you can then unleash various unlocked special attacks with. <laughs> Let's try something a little fancier. The higher your combo, the faster you can earn momentum to do awesome moves like that. We can get more momentum moves by upgrading our weapons. And while there are cool animation in those various unlocks, and especially the sneak attacks... Oh, shit. Knock knock. In a world where dipshits get killed with hammers. There's not much variation or combos within the move sets themselves. And they attempt to remedy to this with a cool mix-up mechanics where you can perform different gun kata specials in between your melee combos. Say Jimmy seven letters. Now, one of the main complaints about the combat system, though, is how they map the teleport button, which allows you to escape, to the same button as the counter button. So when you're trying to escape from a mob, oftentimes you'll just engage in another hit animation and stay in place, leading to some frustration. Where did all the babes go? They were never here. The game does have the obligatory progression system, even if Deadpool himself says it doesn't really make much sense. In my game, you get points for killing baddies. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, and you spend those points to get cool upgrades to make us more badass. That is impossible. Yeah, but it's called progression in games. A must-have. Hey, player, open up the upgrade menu and see what we can buy. Killing enemies and collecting Deadpool coins will allow you to unlock new weapons and then certain buffs along with new combos to use for them. Now general character upgrades such as improved health and combos require you to puzzlingly purchase and upgrade your weapons first before you can touch them. Now, the biggest problem comes in with who you're fighting, okay? There is a serious lack of enemy variety here. There's like four or five guys you would be playing the whole game with, okay? These clones. They use the excuse of clones after clones. Well, they all look the same. Now, once in a while, you get something like a failed gambit experiment or a big guy with a grenade launcher. But it really sucks because there's a lack of innovation here and it makes the game repetitive and tiresome. Especially when you don't ever really need to vary your tactics or strategy for enemies. You just mash them buttons to win. Yeah, that was fun! Yeah, it was okay. Now, it doesn't help that the game is also far too easy on default mode. It's a joke on anything easier and it's kind of easy on hard mode too. They're just Far too many power-ups, health, and regenerating ammo pickups, and combos that refill your life meter for the game to be any challenge. Uh, up until it's overwhelmingly cheap Zerg Rush attack ending. 
That last level has you slam into a difficulty spike unlike the rest of the game, especially on hard. I mean, you're gonna be cursing at the screen at both of its lack of innovation and its cheapness as it throws ridiculous clone wave after clone wave after clone wave at you. It's as if the developers have no idea what to do here. Open the gates and release the clones! How many sinister clones does it take to kill Deadpool? One million. What? There's more? Sweet mama! It's an orgy of destruction and chaos! Wow! How can this be? Clones attack! Woo -hoo -hoo. Now that was a whole lot of fun. Oh my god, here come more. Do not fail me, clones! Heads up, more splody guys! Seriously, who can't be any more to kill and okay! Here they come! How many of these bad boys have we killed? Then, after you've had about all you can take, they recycle the three previous bosses at the same time. Deadpool! Vertigo! Vertigo! Arc light! Blockbuster! Hey, didn't we kill those guys? There must be more clones. Which is a welcome challenge, but it feels lazy. Then, if you manage to get through that, be prepared for like 10 to 15 boss level clones of Mr. Sinister. Yes, the ending boss of the game, there's waves. What the? Make it stop! It's so boring! <laughs> How does that work? What is that a case hoping you do? So boring. Damn it, Wade! Deadpool took me about six hours to complete its eight mission campaign. Uh, there are also challenges, but they're mostly throwaway three minute matches that have you try to kill as many enemies as possible before the timer runs out. Lackluster filler, without any good kind of reward. In fact, there's not much reason to play through the game a second time. Uh, Deadpool makes all the same jokes. Uh, there's no unlockables or collectibles whatsoever. No alternate costumes. He just switches between them whenever he wants. Nothing, okay? Just the same thing over again, a wasted opportunity. There was a spark in creativity in this, with some really funny moments. But after a while, the creators just got lazy and tried to cover their laziness and budget limitations as meta jokes. Which eventually starts to get a little annoying. And as soon as you get all excited that it's about to do something cool and fresh, with the lack of budget references like the 8-bit game or the side-scroller sections. Oh, I love old 8-bit games! Yeah, we do too. This game isn't old. Or 8-bit moron. Hey, look, it's a boner over here. You said boner? <laughs> like a boss. They end them after like five minutes of just very shallow gameplay. It's too much of a tease to be any fun. More of that. It's, you could do whatever in this game. It's a Deadpool game. But it plays it safe. It, it just does an average job. And in the end, the story, or lack thereof, because Deadpool is continually doing whatever the hell he wants, uh, just like a Deadpool game should be, you know, a tongue-in-cheek fest, okay? Cutscenes are crazy. They're funny. And if you don't press a button, you can hear like 10 to 20 different things in them. But it's just a shame that that same level of variation and effort didn't go into Deadpool's regular combat. What? Joe? You are still talking? What the hell? Why are his reviews so long and detailed? This guy just needs to shut up. Doesn't he realize people hate that? Idiot! God! Now. If you aren't into Deadpool's humor, his dick jokes and the boob references, 
Mind if I saddle up to this water hole? Oh, I love it when you talk like that. <laughs> yes! Now that's more like it. What? I wasn't talking to you, jerk. Eject now, okay? You really won't might find much to like about this game. Oh, come on, Joe. Who isn't into boobs? Yeah, give me that dildo nunchucks. Who isn't into dick jokes? Look at this. Stand back, or I'll dick you. If you do, though, you will find Deadpool entertaining from start to finish. I found some of Marvel's B-team villains interesting. And throughout the story, there's even some X-Men cameos, uh, like Cable, who Deadpool has a special rapport with. The survival of Earth entirely depends on... Which all hinges on you, Wade. Uh, there's also Wolverine, Rogue, Domino, Psylocke, but they drop in for like a few seconds just to say hi. Dialogue? Domino. Boner? Engaged? What are you ex-babes doing here? We'd probably know if we'd read the original script. Deadpool, you need to listen to me. Mr. Sinister has taken over Chance White's Hard White to Settle. believe we used to date her. And then there's Lady Death, who serves as our anti-hero's crazy-ass love interest. I think Thanos would be pissed. <laughs> Whatever, Thanos Joe. Is a Thanos is a Come chump. on, try to get up my girl. Yeah, let's Don't do this. Back, Come on, girl. they can take him. Yipe! He's scary. So, that brings me to my final verdict for Deadpool, which is a... It's just it's a five. Eight. I know, a three out of ten. It's a six out of ten, okay? The accuracy, the comedy, the wackiness, they notch it up slightly above average. Now, it would have actually been about a 5 out of 10, an average game, but instead of charging $60 like other assholes, High Moon had the good sense to realize it's not worth that price point and marked it down to 40 bucks on the PC, which is probably the version that you should get. If you aren't a big Deadpool fan, it may not be worth you, your money or time, but for everyone else, I'd recommend a rental or waiting for a single price drop, especially on consoles. It's worth playing at some point, if only because it's among the best portrayals of the character yet. Nah, -uh, nah, uh! Can't believe this. It's like I always say, never trust guys with porno mustaches right on their face. I didn't want to do this, but only one thing left to do. I'm coming for you, Joe. Oof, like a ninja. <laughs> Shut up, Joe! I hate you! You're a fake! A liar! A heathen! God, you hate good games, that's what it is! Uh, you give Hackett slashes a low score like 7? And then you give Call of Duty like a freaking 9.5? Whoa, whoa, wait, I, I didn't even Touch review you. Call of Duty. Yeah, you did. Some guy said you did. And he said you're a Microsoft fanboy, because you are. No, I... Oh, yeah, I really love Kinect games and Fable 2, or Fable 3, let me tell you. No, internet trolls are always right. God. I can't believe you did this to me, Joe. You messed my game up. Oh, shit. Deadpool, man. Just just listen to me. Hear me out, okay? All right, fine. They just didn't put a lot of effort into your game here, besides the, the meta jokes. Speak my language. Convince me, Joe. And they should have done better. They, they could have put more... More boobies! You like boobies? Yeah. yeah! No! Kicking guys in the balls! You love yeah. kicking guys yeah. in the balls! You know what, Joe? You have a point there. There should be way more kicking guys in the balls. That's, that's what I do. I'm Deadpool, for God's sakes. That alone ruins this game. I should be punching, shooting, and kicking balls. They need hitboxes on the balls in this game. I see your point now. Yeah, this game is garbage. Yeah, I give it a 2 out of 10. Make me a better game, damn it. Good work. Here. Oh! I'll see you around. Seriously, roll credits. Oh! That'll teach oh! you, Jack. Oh! Get Okay, guys. Seriously. No more Deadpool games. Ever. I'll see you on the next day. <laughs> oh, fuck. I tripped on the dildo. <laughs> fuck this thing. 
Keep up the good work, Joe. I just want to <laughs> tell you. <laughs> I'm just smashing on this previous taco. <laughs> Here, have a taco. And thank you for telling everyone to buy my game. Oh, yeah. Have a taco. And thank you for telling everyone to buy my game. Oh, yeah. And thank you for telling everyone to buy my game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hit the mark on that one even though you can't see. That book. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to throw the dildo at you, Devin. I can't and you, see. I'm sorry, you're going to have to try to catch it. This way. What? No, I'm going to throw it at your chest. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna teleport in, so it's more 